Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Scrutinize. This is my third video on the game. If you'd like to see the previous two and all future episodes, they'll be in the playlist linked in the description. There's actually been a significant update since I last played. Detective mode was added, and detective mode is no threats, only cases. So if you've been intrigued by the game, uh, you like the idea of solving cases at your computer, figuring out who's guilty, who's innocent, solving the mystery, that kind of thing, but you don't necessarily want to deal with people trying to break into your house, detective mode is probably for you, and we're going to check it out in just a second. I also want to make it known that uh, you can turn the jump scares off if the horror aspect of the game isn't your thing, but you're intrigued by the mystery, again, that might be an option for you. So let's go ahead and check out detective mode and just solve some cases because some feedback I got on the last episode was that um, it was kind of lame to just be skipping solving the cases because the night started. I had them memorized and uh, you know what, I, I hear ya. Um, the main game, though, the, at least on normal mode, is impossible to beat unless you cut corners like that. So, detective mode, again, we don't have to worry about anything here. There's not even a camera to check for Tanner and his smug ass. Uh, the game was also, I think, made a little less difficult. I think Tanner was actually nerfed, and now you can uh, afford to have more rejected reports. But yeah, so we're just going to... Spend the first part of the game solving some cases, and then we'll get into the normal mode a little bit later in the video. All right, Sylvia Osborne. I actually don't know who this one is. So one other thing that was changed with the game was there are 200 total reports, like I theorized in the last video, and normally in the early nights, you're only getting from a specific pool of that 200, and the midnights, it's different, and the later nights, it's completely uh, different, the pool that it pulls from. But it's the game's been updated to where it just pulls from all 200, so this is a completely new case to me. I don't have it memorized or anything. I don't know if this person's guilty or innocent or what, so it'll be totally fresh. Sylvia asked me to come over and check out her water pump in the garage. Is that what they're calling it these days? Cha-ching! Apparently, the reason her grass has been less than ideal was that the unit was leaking and the irrigation system was suffering. But alas, the reason I'm concerned is while I was rethreading the galvanized piping, I heard muffled sounds coming from her attic. The stairwell wasn't too far away from the pump, maybe 12 feet at the most. I myself turned our attic into a rec center for the boys, so I thought perhaps she left a TV on up there. But when I stepped over to investigate, Sylvia came back in with some lemonade. Her mood changed when she saw me staying beside the stairs. For the rest of the time that I was there, she just hovered between me and the stairs. She didn't say thanks either. Dude, I gotta say, she kinda sounds horrible. Okay, here she is. Uh, one other tip that I picked up from playing normal mode, you can just keep this up. You're gonna have to get more IDs later anyway. There's no reason to close it. I don't know why I kept closing it earlier. All right, uh, oh, this is debit DB. Wow, I'm out of practice. We don't want that. Put that down there. We'll look at that if we have to, if we absolutely have to. Sylvia Osborne. All right, I'm in your phone. Search history, fear processors of the brain. Okay, just curious. Death by a thousand cuts. Huh, pressure points for pain. Brain surgery videos. Common interrogation length to break someone. Okay. We only need two pieces of evidence. I think that's probably one of them. Using trauma effectively for memory loss. My God. What are the pictures you got? I got like a moon. That's innocuous enough. A, a graveyard. A little spooky there. Uh, this one's not showing up. Dolls. Healthy interest. Normal hobby for anyone to have just 73 dolls. Peach dreams. I'm sure this won't be incriminating. Check out our summer sale blowout. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it, it's not incriminating. Emerald. Okay, we're on to her now. What's, uh, did Emerald, is, is Emerald your drug dealer? Who's Emerald? I got referred from a site by Dark Mind. I have a shitty husband that needs help in remembering who wears the pants in this relationship. Can you help me guide him to the right path? I'd love to help. Before we continue, I need to lay out the major rules. Once you send your man here, the process has begun. Attempting to stop in the middle or any time before it's complete will not be acceptable. 
This kind of work needs a keen eye to detail, and skipping over certain steps in the procedure could be detrimental to my business. With that being said, do you have any questions before we discuss your options? My husband has plenty of friends who have encouraged him to act like a dick to me for the past five years. Is there a way to make this look like he had an accident on the vacation we were on? So first of all, this text is totally incriminating. We're going to include it. But uh, I'm going to finish reading it. I really don't need a bunch of rowdy assholes trying to get me locked up for something. I know they will be looking for answers when he's suddenly more interested in hanging around me. Around with, with me than them. That is very possible. I was just taking him to the doctor about two weeks after the procedure. Wow, did you hear that? There's a car outside. That means Tanner's on his way. Right? According to some of you in the comments. If you hear a car come up, that means Tanner's about to come in. Except he's not in this mode at all. So it kind of seems like it's just harmless ambient noise, doesn't it? He played it off like he was fine at the time. You believed him until it was more obvious symptoms that something was actually wrong appeared after the trip. Most likely they diagnosed the head injury as a concussion. They can run an MRI and all the tests they want. Nothing will appear on the test to put you at risk for questioning what really happened to him. He won't remember anything, so the consultation will be easy to steer in the direction that you want. Oh my god. Are you on social media, Sylvia? I ain't gonna follow you or anything. She's not on social media. Okay, so this is a fairly simple one. Let's go ahead and file it and see if we got it. Come on. We got it. Okay, Marielle Noland. Unfortunately, I know that that's a shred. Listen, I can't, I can't go back, okay? Unknown. While I was outside watching my son jump on the trampoline in our backyard, I saw someone peeking at him through a slit in our fence. I went to confront whoever it was, but when I got around to the other side of the fence, there was no one there. I checked in with our neighbor, thinking it was him, but he said he didn't see anything out of the ordinary. The guy even went and checked his surveillance camera, but later said he didn't catch anything. I know I'm not crazy. I saw what I saw. Okay. Okay, so it's probably, it's probably Carter Bale. All right. Let's see if we can find anything on you, Carter Bale. How tell my neighbors they're being loud. How to deal with rowdy neighbors. Filing a complaint for rude neighbors. This seems like it's a shred. I'm guessing this is the neighbor that he's spying on. Here's a text with Kristen. Hey, baby. I already hate him. I want him to be guilty. Enjoy your vacation. Remember the neighbors that had moved in recently? <laughs> they're still being loud as hell, even into the night. I'm thinking about talking to them about what kind of neighborhood this is and what we expect. Car, just go ahead and talk to them already. It won't do you any good just sitting around. I've tried exactly that. The man over there tried to get all big and tough just because I told to quiet down some after the party went past 12. So this is a shred. Carter Bale. Pretty sure. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Okay, it was. Unknown. While well, I was walking to Lanceport Liquors and Wine, and I heard yelling around the back of the store. I headed around to see what the commotion was and saw a man shaking a young girl against the side of the store. Ooh, he turned around and looked at me, but his face, his face just looked not real. Almost like a real life version of one of those portraits a young kid draws for his parents. The image of him staring at me is still branded in my head. Thankfully, the girl he was attacking ran off while he was distracted. So I could get out of there without having to go near that thing. Okay, let's bring up the DMV DB. Um, I hate these unknowns, man. I don't think it's Caleb Butler. Let's see. His face. Dude, which one of these has a face that looks like a portrait a young kid draws for their parents? You know what? I don't I don't know, I'm just gonna shred it. That was incorrect. Okay. We can move on though to Anthony Hawks. There's a lot of construction sounds coming from Anthony's backyard, especially at night. Well, a lot of us in the neighborhood are trying to get some sleep. I've heard hammering, sawing, drilling, and even a jackhammer one night. My wife looked over the fence and swore she saw him building what seemed like several coffins. Okay, this seems kind of interesting. Let's check out Anthony, huh? I know I said I was supposed to keep this up, but then I, I didn't do it. Okay, Anthony Hawks, there you are. Older fella, all right. And uh, yeah, let's look at what's on your phone, Anthony. Domicile Depot, you got weather-coated lumber. This seems like a shred to me. Miniature Emporium. Tier 4 Big Boy set. Okay. 
Tram cat set. So he like he likes trains, dude. Leave this guy alone. He's just uh, building coffins. Okay, I don't believe this at all. DIY choo choo trains. Okay. Come on, man. Uh, 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 bro, he's a shred. That's why I thought. That's why I thought. Unknown while chilling outside the liquor store. Shred it. Okay, cool. I just wanted to get my thing. Max Snow, you're also a shred. Unfortunately, I know that. Sorry. Howard Elmore. Okay. If you're not aware already, Howard is a Foley who makes sound effects for mainly horror movies. Oh, that's cool. Howard Elmore. Let's see. Where are you? Let's get a look at you. Okay. He's a Foley artist. That's cool. He's very proud of his success, and boasts about it frequently. As such, many of the sounds that come from his house, while they could be bloody screams of murder, most of the neighborhood is tuned out of the performance Howard puts on. It's believed that he recreates his films inside his house. Uh, hell, it's not even uncommon to walk outside here, this barrage of painful screams, only to see Howard casually walking outside to throw out the trash. Sweaty, but happy as a clam. <laughs> Are clams really happy? Can clams experience happiness? These are the important questions. All right, Howard, I'm gonna look at your phone. All right, don't freak out. With the ordinary out of the way, here's what played with the curiosity switch in my head. Anyway, what if this friendly, upbeat, giddy man was just using this whole thing as a disguise for what was really um, going on inside his home? This past weekend, Oh my god, do you hear that ambient noise? It must mean Tanner's getting inside the house! Bro, let's check it out! Ah! Oh! There's no one there. There's no one there. Okay. This past weekend, the wind tipped over his garbage cans, and I awoke in the morning to a sprinkling of bloody rags all over my front lawn and bushes. Now, I should say I have no clue about what Howard's performance entails, I don't know what's to be expected and what's strange. What I can say is that Curiosity Switch is flipped and for damn good reason too. I'm gonna have my eye on Howard and I recommend the watch does the same. Joints of the human body. Mm. Morgue technician autopsy process. Easy plans to take care of. Benefits to taking a cold shower in the morning. Okay, dude, what are your pictures? That's a heart. That's a human heart. I'm gonna put that as evidence. That's harmless. That is someone's cellophane body. And that is, okay, that's, that is not good. Text, let's look at your text. Randy. Hey, did I see on your social that you're in town? How are you not gonna say hello to an old friend? It's been forever, I thought you moved you, goose. Yeah, we're out filming some spaghetti western for Scortino. <laughs> like Scorsese or Tarantino put together. He's cutting us loose for the weekend, thank Christ. If you're free, we should catch up. What a great idea. I'm thinking Saturday. Come by my place, I'll have everything set up. Full meat platter, cosmos for you and me. The new studio is actually insane. You're gonna die laughing when you see what props I'm using nowadays. Lol. All right, I'll see you on Saturday. I'll bring a couple things that'll surprise you too. All right, I'm free whenever. I'll be at the house putzing around till you get there. And then he's got his address. On my way now, I'll be there in three minutes, and we never heard from Randy again. Randy's dead. What about Cam? It's been a little while since you made a video. Do you have any plans in the works for me? I know your fans are hungry for more after that last show you put on for us. Oh no. I have a good one coming up soon, gorgeous man. We'll film this Saturday. I plan on set. Hang on a second. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Saturday is when Randy's coming over. Oh my god! <laughs> Took me a second to figure it out, but I did! I got there! Excellent. As always, your payment will be sent promptly following the confirmation. If I may ask, I do have a favor to ask this time around. Go ahead. A few notes. The more you can fulfill, the better, and the higher the pay. Dismemberment and then sealed in small packages to be returned to your freezer for assumed consumption later. Oh my god, showering yourself in the blood of your victim and doing what you will on camera. If any of the above are performed, I can guarantee your product will reach a much larger audience. Only exponentially increase with the more notes you complete. This is, come on. Come on, dude. Get, get this out of my face. It's solved! Hmm. 
You know, it's funny how on detective mode, all of a sudden the lights are working just fine. Interesting. All right, guys, I am actually gonna keep going, but uh, the rest of the video is going to be normal mode, okay? Not detective mode. But I just want to show off the new mode, as you can see. Uh, we're perfectly safe. You can just sit here and solve cases if that's what you want to do. So, uh, if that's something that was holding you back from checking out the game, it's no longer there. Uh, but I actually will use this as a time to research the cases so I can go through normal mode a little quicker. So, that's what I'm doing. And I'll see you guys in a second with the normal gameplay. All right, the time has come to get super sweaty. We're gonna start a new normal run. And I have ready on my second monitor a cheat sheet that I've compiled of the answers to kid, the about 170 of the 200 cases because I've played through it so many times now and I've seen almost all of them. So I'm about to get I super get sweaty. I hope you guys don't mind. In fact, actually, I don't, I don't really care if you do. I, well, you know what? We did a detective run. I solved some cases. I sat around. I relaxed. I had some fun, I had some mystery fun, right? But now it's time, now it's time to sweat. You understand? We're going around closing all the windows and locking them. There used to be an exploit where you could open up all the closets and glitch out Tanner. That's apparently what happened in one of my videos. But, uh... Oh, yeah. I need to read that, that email got patched and check out. out those bolos. So, can't do it anymore. Isn't that a shame? All right, what we got? Gerald Scott, and yes, I will pause every single time it comes up. Gerald Scott is guilty. He is not a shred, so we'll find him. I'm gonna leave this up. I'm actually gonna move this. Like that. Yeah, this is what we'll do. Okay. Gerald Scott. Not you. Not you, Clifford. I don't need you right now. Gerald Scott, we got him. Ooh. <laughs> Gerald Scott has got quite an extensive search history here. Uh... He's got preserving a human body, for example. Uh, butchering of humans, in addition, so we're gonna just fax that off. Unknown, I went to pick up my wife. This is a guy named, uh... No, Guy Finn, not Albert Ewing. I actually don't know who that is. Okay, we're just gonna do the two texts. Tony and Byer, and that should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and check the lights real quick. Once again, you don't have to actually check the windows. Oh. Uh, been in that detective mode for too long. I'm getting soft. Uh, right. What's our next one? Travis Gray. Another not shred. Okay. Gray. Travis Gray. You're right there. Let's find you, bro. Okay, I cracked into his phone twice <laughs> on accident. <laughs> oh boy, okay, we got, uh... We got two search histories to throw in. Um, let's see... Manipulating wife into shutting up. Uh, and discipline your wife, sounds like. Yeah, two ones that we got there. Let's check the cameras. Yeah, we're good, okay. Tanya Carter. Tanya Carter. I don't have Tanya Carter. So, we gotta actually investigate this one. Whatever she's got, it's on her phone. Wow, we're already... Okay, we're already doing this, huh? All right, bullying at Westbrook. Let's see. Sue school for bullying. Oh, what? Ah, I got that last one wrong. I didn't know the answer. I think I put in a wrong piece of evidence, but we're at night two. All right, here we go. Unknown. I went to the store to get a pack of cigarettes. This is a dude named Jose Bridges, uh, which luckily is right here. Thank you so much, Jose. Oh, he's got a really incriminating search history. Check this out, okay? How do I secretly transport someone? Get that shit in there. Uh, 
How are people caught? How to kidnap someone? Come on, Jose. Get out of here, dude. All right. Lorenzo Bianchi. Lorenzo. All right, this guy's- uh, this guy also has a very incriminating search history. Some of these guys' search histories are so funny. They search for things that I'm like, why would you ever search for that? It's so in it's so incriminating for you to search for that. It's like if you were wondering, like, I wonder if this guy killed someone, and then you look in their search history and it's like, how to get away with killing someone? Here's another search. Uh, is murdering against the law? Oh, list ways of getting rid of a dead body. Get in there. Time to pass out from lack of oxygen. And then I think police response time is probably the last one. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, we only need two. Oh, well. Let's fax that off then. I'm paranoid about Tanner. But he doesn't seem to be here, so... All good. I'm probably being like a little hyper vigilant considering we're only on night two. The layer nights get so fast though, it's hard not to overdo it. Okay, we got Luke Bennett. Luke Bennett. Do I have Luke Bennett? Uh, I do. I haven't gotten a single shred this entire time yet. Okay. It, it, weirdly, he's right here. It's like, it's going by alphabetize. Look, see? Whoa! I've never seen this before. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> oh, how did I miss him though? I guess I missed him coming to, how did I miss him? I was on those cameras constantly. Maybe I was flipping through them too quickly and I just missed. Hmm, like I think, I swear, as soon as I start recording, I start playing badly. All right, let's uh, let's do another run. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Shut up. Actually, okay, we gotta. I gotta. I forgot to close all the windows. Okay, we gotta close and lock all the windows. You know, Luna, with this constant monologuing at the beginning of each day, and when you log into your computer for the first time, I'm starting to really resent you. I'm starting to care less if you die. If you get murdered by syringe guy. Man, those crickets are loud, dude. Are they hooked up to speakers? Do they have a megaphone? Oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. No, you don't. You actually don't need to do that. You don't need to do any of this. <laughs> Luna, you don't need to do any of it. You could just, you could just leave well enough alone. All right, start a new run. Clifford Abbott Shred. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. Clean blood off white shirt and blunt force trauma. Get, get out of here, you guilty ass. Thank you so much. Layla Morrison Shred. David McNamara, unfortunately not a shred. I wish you were. Let me check, let me check my database. I'm gonna call it the database now. Oh, both of your texts are, what am I doing? Oh my God. Both of your texts are evidence. Great. And we're done with the day. Oh, brother. Are we good in here? No, we're not. Really starting to lose it now, asking the window lock questions. Interrogate- are we good here? Interrogating the window lock. Listen man, am I a joke to you? Okay. 
do, do, do. Take these, upgrade, instant, and then we're gonna get root kit cracks because believe it or not, they can get really hard later. Okay, report desk, give it to me. Isabella, you are a shred. Don't ask me how I know. Scott McPherson, not a shred at all, actually. Okay, Scott McPherson. Oh, you're like literally right there. Amazing. Instant search. Give that to me. Thank you. Let's see. How to make a silencer blowback pistol. Cool. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm like on edge. I'm on edge right now, bro. Don't do that to me. Okay? All of your text messages implicate you. Mini, mini howl. Oh, she's she's just red, actually. I know, I didn't know that either. Stanley Ware. Stanley Ware is guilty. All right, what do you have, Stanley? What do I have on you? Yeah. Unknown, I saw a young man. And this is also a shred. Sweet, we'll go to bed early tonight. All right, made tonight three, which, uh, yeah, it's, Wake me up when we do something new, you know? I assume that like the kidnapper's off right now. I assume he's not like picking a lock in my living room right now. He's not over there like, Dobre vitre. <laughs> Whatever he says. Locked. Locked. I also assume that Tanner's not active right now because that would be unfair. You know what I can't seem to figure out? I've had Tanner kill me on day two before. And then I've had other days where he just straight up doesn't appear on day two at all. Like I never flashlight him away, he just... He just straight up doesn't appear. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, here's your stupid phone. Okay. Damn, okay. Jeff Christensen. You are guilty. It's news I don't like hearing, by the way. Don't kill me. I just figured a last second mercy bag might win me some time. Ow, oh, fuck you. What, you're in the house now? Maybe it's one of those things like, you're just not supposed to open it when he's in there. Okay. I mean, I'm still alive, aren't I? Oh, he's still in there, dude. He's just, what are you doing in the closet, man? There's literally nothing in there. There's not even any like coat hangers to play with or I don't know. There's nothing in there. You're just, you're literally squatting in there like a weirdo, doing nothing. Maybe these guys syringe and he's just like... Maybe this is what he's into. I don't know. 
Okay, Jeff Christensen. I've got his phone now. Um, yeah, he's got, he's got that, and he's got J Club Cap. Goodbye. There we go. Dude, I swear, on, on detective mode, what I, I was doing crack... I was about to say, I was doing crack with four lines. And then I realized how awful that sounded. Not that kind of crack. I was doing rootkit cracks with four lines, see? Unknown, I was behind this lady. Okay, uh, yeah, this is actually... Shred? Edwin Thompson, I believe this is a shred as well, so we might cut a break here. Ernest Libram, also a shred. Cool. Night four? Okay, we made it to night four on a recording. Let's go. Stop! You think Tanner's still in that closet? I haven't seen him a single time yet. He ain't there. Oh my god. Oh. I was I, I was in the middle I was in the middle of watching the animation to open it up and I was like if he's in there. Dude, I'm going to lose it. Okay, upgrades. Dude, you laugh, you laugh, but just wait till you see some of the later root kits. We're gonna get to them at some point. <laughs> In a video, I swear. Uh, Latoya, you're a shred. Robbie Linden. Before I shred you. Okay. Madison. Pearson, a shred. Wow. What? Did you hear that? Did you, did you hear? Did you hear somebody tapping on the glass just now? Don't worry, because it means nothing. Every time there's tapping on the glass. Tapping on the window sound that you just heard. I look, I investigate, and there's never anything there. It's not an audio cue worth paying attention to. As far as I can tell, there are no audio cues in this game. Despite how many of you try to condescendingly tell me in the comments uh, the opposite. That's another... Four shreds, dude. Starla Martin, though, she ain't a shred. That was close, I think. I wasn't actually looking. Uh, <sighs> okay, yeah. Uh, Call Crumb. You know, we got him in the very first video. Actually, we didn't get him. We got an, we got we got we had a case for someone else. And when then and then when I looked up like their stuff, I got Carl Crumb and I was like, I guess this is him, even though it was completely the wrong person. All right. Anthony Hawks. Believe you're a shred. Are you? You are. I'm like get. I'm like getting to the point where I'm like, I, I, I am on normal mode, aren't I? Like the killers are here. We've seen Tanner. Oh, yeah. We've seen Tanner. He's here. I can't believe this happened like three times in this recording. It didn't happen to me like at all earlier, while I was gathering all this information and stuff. Didn't happen to me at all. I don't. I don't know. Just because he's in the closet don't mean he's also 
He's not also outside. <laughs> Can I say that? I know how these games are programmed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got this one, I think, wrong another time. Uh, where is it? How to hide a body or something? How to hide multiple bodies? You know, see ya. You may wonder why I do that. Well, it will forever remain a mystery. It's a secret that I will take with me to my grave. Amelie Linter, this is the last one that we've got for night four. Don't look now, but oh my god. Night five, don't jinx it. I think he, I think he keeps getting in the house while I'm away from the computer, and that's when he hides in the closet. Nothing better to do than look for Tanner sprinting into my house, sprinting directly into my house, phasing through the wall from the streets. I pressed the escape key so enthusiastically just now, it came off. And you know, that's not, that's not really that hard to do actually. That's good. Got it. Oh my god. Night five. Let's go. Let's go. You guys had the nerve. You guys had the nerve to say I was bad at this game? Yeah, who else are you watching on YouTube is getting this far? Come on. <laughs> Speedrunners don't count, by the way. There is so much literal housekeeping at the beginning of the night. Like, who is opening and unlocking all of these windows? Oh, yeah. Okay. Pat Medina. Pat Medina. Gotta say it several times to myself. To buy time to look for the answer. Hmm. I'm gonna file that. So I thought. Joy Llewellyn. Uh, are you? No, you're not Shred. No, you're a horrible person. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, you're, you're a murderer. All right, before I get up, I'm gonna check this one last time. Even though I haven't seen. Dude, it's so jarring when it's when it's the one next to me. When it's the light right next to me that's off. I don't like that. If it's one of these, I'm like, okay, that's like fair enough. When I get up from the computer and I'm like, oh, I was sitting in darkness this whole time and I just didn't know. Because I was so zoned in, because she <laughs> Luna like focuses in so hard. Okay, yeah, Joy Llewellyn, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Gimme. See, I heard a lot of ambient sound just now. That was kind of distracting me. We're totally safe. Oh, oh, oh! This damn power breaker. No! I need to flip the breaker in the file room closet. What the fuck? Well, this is awkward. Don't worry, the pain will go away soon. Dude, I was flashing the light at him right there! I was flashing the light at him! I didn't know that that could happen. Also, that was kind of awkward. That he came in while I was trying to go to the breaker. I couldn't even see him. 
because it was so dark. Ugh, that's annoying. I caught him on the camera. And then and then the power went out right as I was about to switch to the other one because they, they're at an angle, right? One of them, like from the front of the house. I'm the front of the house, okay? There's one that's aiming this way, and there's another one that's aiming this way. I was on the one aiming this way, and he ran past. So I was like, I'll switch to the one aiming this way, and then I'll get him. But then the power went out. That's unlucky, dude. All right. Well, night five, halfway through. And I think we made some major breakthroughs, don't you? No? All right. Well, I'll see you in the next video anyway. Thanks for watching. Think critically.